shears, that's a weapon. Interesting. Could have just sheared some sheep. Dry air, my sunny one. Oh, mighty ocean, <laughs> how I pine for thee. Here a shell's lament. Yield me unto the water. Poor shell. Look, wonder comes my way. Walking the sands upon which I poor shell must suffer. Alright, um, so. His name is Ismachel, son of the sea. Strange that he can talk, of course, he can talk. He's some big king of shell, I believe. Why is it you're doomed? Um, okay, I don't really want to listen to everything, but pretty much he wants this because I did this already. <laughs> I want to get through it fast. Alright. So he wants to be tossed in the sea, or you can sell him for gold. And toss it in the sea, we will. Just like that. The sea. The sea. I have returned. Where every wave feels like a mermaid's kiss. May the bounty of the deep be yours, along with my eternal gratitude. It tosses us a chest, which... Oh, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that on... Michaela. I went with the man-female... Um, sort of companionship duo because that's that's how they had that's how they how do you say it that's how they displayed the game from the beginning that's all their advertisements so um, I think that makes sense um, it really doesn't matter I don't think there's any real um, relationship perks or anything like that. If there are, we will find out. So this is the tutorial dungeon. I'm gonna also gonna quick save. And a lot of broken stuff. Some not broken stuff. I find it funny that the candles are level. Can move a container. Like that. You can just place it somewhere else. Okay, can you tell level? She can tell, level 20 candle. <laughs> and she's got the, um... What's it called? Identify. Chest doesn't look very solid, so we can break it. Control, click. And... Got a knockdown arrow. Let's look at the vase. Just gonna, you're just gonna toss him. Okay, go over there. How about on top of it? There you go. And the barrel too. Make sure there's nothing in here. Carrots. Oops. Ok, 
careful. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. Okay, we can trigger the mines by attacking them with the ranged weapon or by dropping something heavy on them. Um, Bloodletting scroll. Let's make them follow in a line. So, luckily I have this. I, why not? I just dropped something heavy on it. Now that area is burning, I don't want to step in it. This chest needs a key. Which I wasn't able to find it last time I looked in. Um, through everything here. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. There's a parchment. I think it's just... Tend the graves in the antechamber before moving to the inner room. Proceed. Press the button. Okay, so it's just giving us hints about a hidden button. Broken vase. I do like that you can sort of pan out. Smoke screen arrowhead. That's interesting. So you can have an arrow that just makes a smoke screen. Find the lock pick. Hmm. The String Enthusiast Crafting Book. Might as well. Learn some crafting spells. It's a cool waterfall. The only thing is that you, um, you can only pan, like, part of the view in this view. That's really my only pick about this game and then if you go into real top down um, you can sort of do a 360 with no problem and here we have What's this? a hidden I found something. and eventually you see it but I knew that she has better uh, perception You can uh, look behind walls and pillars holding the middle mouse button and zoom in and out. Yes, you can pan. Uh, you know, break the door with our sword. Yeah, I made short work of that door. But I don't imagine our weapons would survive such use for long. True. Bashing through every entrance we find is bound to affect our gear's durability. They only do quick save, and I'll do that. Oh, I don't have enough strength to pick up. Okay, so fire can be removed by, removed by water. Luckily, there are water bar barrels all around so we can just smash them um, or 
use this telekinesis spell. Drop it from the sky. Did it not? That was lead effect. And smash this one. And I don't even have to smash the other one. Sort of lame that I have to go. Uh, Hold! Our enemies have laid a trap. So that's locked. And last time I found the key in here. Not so this time. There's a key. Switch back to her. The other source hunter. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't see the key. I'm sure it goes into a special spot. There you go, just some gold. Um, broken vases all around. Okay. Let's do get out of here. A bowl. I think this is just a bench. You just have a seat and relax. That's pretty cool. Do you want to sit? Oh, you just, just switch spots. Can't both sit in the de on the. I don't know. Let's do that. Sit. Yeah. That's awesome. I keep clicking off. All right. I guess that works too. I I moved my um view to a certain so try using fire on poison, poison clouds, a fire spell, or fire arrow will do the trick. Uh, which make a big explosion. Um, which is super cool. So I was able to move my view in the true top-down view. Um, camera mode. And then... Temple door. Well, it's not the chest that we ran into earlier. Let's get these crates. I hope I don't knock my mic over and over. One with fluids, crafting book. There's some lockpicks. So I should go back and get that chest. Let's read this book. I most likely won't be doing a lot of crafting. I don't know, just I don't know if I want to take the time with it. I heard that you can pretty much do okay with the loot you find. So I have to equip, lockpick, and unlock it. And that's a stunning arrow, not very useful for me right now. I 
can just go all the way here and click. Because we are going this way. I think visually looks good. Uh, this was uh, funded through Kickstarter. So it's good to see. Found a key for that, if you remember. Just arrow shaft. Fire arrow. I wonder, wonder if that's 120 at the bottom there is how many I have. Or you just find one arrow? I don't know. Oh, this. Okay. So, same as before, it's an acid cloud, but it's coming from the pit. Uh, so, we can put an item on it, um, object on it to stop it from spreading. What I want to do first is. Um, sort of blow it up. And then... How come the... Okay. Is the fire... There's another pit there. Balls. Okay, so that's still spewing out a hands vice scroll. Magical claw holds deals damage. Let's put that on top. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. All right, so they're done talking. We can sneak to stay um, hidden for longer. And when I first saw this, I was like, eh, are you kidding me? Because you press C and you are now a boulder. And you just sneak under a rock. 